in the pterygopalatine ganglion. So there we see now, so when we go into this the exam, and if we, we're all fair examiners, all right? So um, when you go into the exam and you're looking for nasal cavity, you're going to be looking roughly for a picture like this. All right, the guy can come down straight on the nasal septum, but he tends to give you this flange of bone. So if you ask Gardner, what really is diagnostic of the nasal cavity? 300 times, what comes there? My gosh, look at this. This is all what? Between here and here is all what? Between here and here is all what? Glandular tissue. Okay? Between the here and here is all glandular tissue. There's some mucus because we see some pale structures. And what do you think these might be? What is the point on here? Just for interest. Let's put it on a higher pole. Whoa. Alright. We're on the ball. Alright, so what's that? What's that? That's somebody who's on the ball. And this is one of the ducts of the gland. Lined by what type of epithelium? Lined by cuboidal epithelium. Alright? So this is one of the ducts of the gland. Lined by cuboidal epithelium. So this is our serum mucus glands around here. I'm getting quite a bit of mucus. You see that there, Roy? Quite a bit of mucus here mixed with serum. And this is basically one of the concha. Alright? And Sean, what is right above the tip of the pointer? You're a sharp man. What is right above the tip of the pointer? Hmm? Bone means bone. What is right above the tip of the pointer? As a sharp man. A man who is on the ball. Hmm? So that is what type of bone? Contact bone. And what is that? What space is that? Locking. Locking. Is that so boring?